Valley State Long Beach may be best known for its striking blue pyramid, but there's a more tranquil place that's also worth a visit. In tonight's look at this, our Desmond Shaw has the story of a perfectly manicured mm -hmm. Japanese garden. We'll take a look at these lush gardens in Long Beach. This is the Earl Burns Miller Japanese Garden, a one and one third acre park tucked into the campus of Cal State Long Beach. Dedicated in 1981 after several years of planning and excavating, according to the university's website, it was made possible by the generosity of Mrs. Lorraine Miller Collins in memory of her late husband, Earl Burns Miller. Mrs. Miller was the daughter of a successful Long Beach banker and her husband founded one of Southern California's largest construction firms. Together, they also formed the Miller Foundation, which has had a long lasting impact on Cal State Long Beach. Architect Ed Lavelle was put in charge of design in the garden and according to the Long Beach Press Telegram, he traveled all the way to Japan and took inspiration from the Imperial Gardens in Tokyo to design these gardens back at home. Lavelle also played a large role in the beautification of Long Beach in general as he also helped to design landscaping around Long Beach Memorial Medical Center, Pacific Hospital and the Veterans Affairs Medical Center among other buildings. And in addition to the authentic plants, waterfalls, bridge work and pond, the garden is very famous for its koi population. One of the top activities at the garden involves feeding those friendly fish and as you can see, some of them look like they've really been enjoying all that food over the years. Lavelle was quoted as saying that the plants would take about 30 years to reach their full potential and he was credited with having a long-term vision that would be best appreciated by future generations. An interesting side note to the garden, it sits adjacent to a large vacant lot that was actually the site of an ancient Native American village that was known as Povunga. It's a sacred site of the Tongva Nation and the Achi Men, who were indigenous to modern-day Orange County. And despite attempts by the university to develop that land, it remains vacant, and it's actually on the National Registrar of Historic Places. And it makes for kind of an interesting juxtaposition to those perfectly manicured Japanese gardens. So the gardens are part of the university's College of Health and Human Services and serves as a living museum and a place for learning art and culture, they say. And what's really cool is that it's free to visit. However, their hours do vary and they say that the only way to ensure that they'll be open is by making a reservation online. The garden is also available for private rentals, including for weddings. They also have a curiously specific dress code that you need to abide by if you come, and there's some other general rules that you should familiarize yourself with if you do decide to visit. To learn more about all that and to make your reservation to these beautiful and free gardens, cslb.edu. Thanks to Mike Reed of Long Beach for telling me to check out the Earl Burns Miller Japanese Garden. Taking a look at this from SkyCal, I'm Desmond Shaw. And if you'd like Desmond to take a look at something interesting in your neighborhood, just write us at lookatthis at cbs.com.